fully commit to an idea that you have and bring it to life in a way that isn't necessarily you being an actor saying some words from a script. Hello actors, welcome back to my channel. I'm Pippa, the British acting coach, and today we're gonna to talk about devising pieces for your auditions. When you're preparing an audition, you are always asked fundamentally as an actor to share your creativity and share your interpretation of a character or a scene in that audition. So when a drama school is asking you to devise or create some sort of piece, albeit they might not give you a script to work from initially, they are giving you a rough idea of what they are looking for. So in this video, I just kind of want to give you my tips and tricks, well, not even tricks, but just some advice about devising your own work when you have been given a stimulus that isn't a script. So there's three things that I want you to remember when you're doing this part of an audition and indeed everything I'm about to say will help you when it comes to developing your characters for your monologues and the song segments of any of your auditions. The first thing I want you to do is stop judging yourself. I know it's easier said than done but if you want to be an actor I'm gonna be completely honest with you. There has to be a kind of balance between judging yourself constructively and um, actually from a technical perspective going okay what could I have done better here what did I not do so great here and also not giving a fuck about that as well <laughs> so there is this constant kind of balancing act I've found and I'm sure other actors may relate to this or can agree with this where you are you know striving to be better and improving yourself and you've got to have that healthy uh, judgment of yourself 100% for sure but then also you have to just not care about the outcome and how you come across and all of that judgment so the first thing I want you to say is during this process when you're devising something brand new there is literally no right or wrong there are no lines to learn there are no uh, full stops to acknowledge when you're speaking these lines because they haven't given you any lines they've given you instead a painting or a newspaper article or something right so I want you to just come at this without judgment and think well whatever I think up is allowed and I know that a lot of people that are auditioning for drama schools especially for the first time you have just been in an education system where they're just churning you out and training you up to hit a certain grade or a certain threshold and in acting and indeed any art there is no right or wrong. It is all up for interpretation. That's what makes art so interesting. And so that's my first piece of advice. Stop judging yourself. And if you have an idea or some sort of spark of creativity that ignites when you look at the stimulus they've given you, I want you to latch onto that and run with it and not judge yourself. That's the first thing I want to say. Second piece of advice that I want to give you is to go through everything they have given you. And this is like the most important thing I'm gonna recommend you do, is start thinking about this and approaching this from a physical pen or pencil to paper approach. Why? Because a lot of you are living on TikTok. If you're watching this on YouTube, like you're clearly someone who spends time on computers and gets a lot of information from what you see on a screen and that's fine. However, it's really important to start getting um, really tangibly back into reality when you are training or applying for drama school and wanting to become an actor. Yes, TV work and film work is where it's at and I know everyone wants to do that and be on the red carpet and be on Netflix and all of this sort of thing. However, the real craft of acting comes from real life before we had computers and MacBooks and YouTube and all of this stuff. It's very important to be able to come back to that and hand write things out, draw things, get touchy feely with stuff and remember what is actually reality. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I would encourage you to do. See which things leap out, uh, which stimulus leaps out the most and just take a pen or a paper, or a big piece of paper or your notebook, whatever, and just write words, draw pictures, doodle, allow yourself to daydream on that stimulus for a little while. Maybe set your timer for 15 minutes and just keep going. And even if you think, oh, I'm bored, I haven't got anything else that I can write down or think of, just keep going. Be disciplined with yourself and set yourself that 10 minute, 15 minute timer to just allow everything that might be rattling around your brain when you look at that stimulus to come out in whatever shape or form that is. And again, don't judge it, just allow it and see what happens. And so the third thing I want you to do after you've done that is think, okay, or not think, is actually look at what you have created already because believe it or not, what you have just done is creative. You've created something out of your imagination, out of this stimulus, you have 
already started to create something exciting, you know, you might not feel it, you have, I want you to go through these words, these doodles, and find again which ones of these have sparked another idea in your head. Maybe you've written down the word lonely. Okay, well, is that already making you think of maybe an old person who doesn't have much company? Maybe they've got no family. Um, it, start to maybe find which things and which doodles or images you've already penned down or drawn down or drawn out. Which of those inspire something else? I kind of see this a bit like improv, the whole yes and thing. There'll be some things you've written down or drawn out that you don't really give you much to go yes and with. But I want you to find the things that do. And again, I'm sure what you'll find out of the 10, 25, three things that you have put on paper, there will be something that gives you a very clear idea or image or person or piece of music or another piece of art or a poem or an experience from your memory, it's gonna generate something in there, some emotional or dramatic or creative, imaginative image in your brain. And that's it. I want you to then go with that one thing and make a decision and be strict with yourself and say, okay, that's what I'm gonna create a piece about. I don't know what it's gonna be yet. No idea, could be absolutely anything, but that's gonna be my main inspiration from that stimulus that I've been given and then come back to the stimulus. How do those tie in? How did you get there from that? And I think that's that's the best way to kind of, well, not the best way, but that's how I would approach this moving forward. Remember that they aren't giving you a piece of text. They don't necessarily need to see another character. They will see that from your monologues. What else can you show them? Uh, and it doesn't have to be a skill that you have. It can be anything, but whatever comes to mind, I want you to honor that and just try it out see what happens. Remember that theatre encompasses so much more than someone acting, encompasses so much more than just you standing there doing your lines or emotionally connecting. There is so much to be had from storytelling, there's so many different ways to do it and I think this is a wonderful opportunity for you to create a piece of art that doesn't necessarily have to be in those confines that you might already be thinking of when you think of theatre or film acting. We have movement, we have dance, there's music, there's so many different kinds of artists um, and movements of art in the world. There's so many things that you can kind of delve into and explore and try out. This is just a fun opportunity for you to share something else and try something else and again, not judge yourself too harshly, but fully commit to an idea that you have and bring it to life in a way that isn't necessarily you being an actor saying some words from a script. If you've got any questions about this, do comment below. Good luck with all of your auditions. I look forward to hearing from you. And don't forget, if you do wanna to talk to me about any acting advice, I do offer anyone who wants it a free 20 to 30 minute acting coaching chat. Uh, well, it's not even acting coaching chat, I just call it an acting chat, where you can tell me a little bit about your life and any any problems that you might be facing with your acting career so far and I will give you my honest um, most helpful advice that I possibly can to help you move forward there's never any obligation to work with me this is purely a chance for me to pay it forward and help you as much as I can and yeah I hope that this is helpful have a lovely day see you next time and good luck in all your auditions you can move it's all right you don't have to apologize. You were gone forever. How was the gym? <laughs>